Hi, it's me, Curious Kiefer in the Library of Curiosities, and I am ready to decorate for Halloween. There's just one teeny problem. I, I can't make any jack-o'-lanterns in here because it's filled with all of these flammable books. They're everywhere. So, I was thinking, what if we make our own decorative jack-o'-lanterns instead? Are you up for the task? Great. Here's our super plan. First, we're gonna grab all the supplies we need. Then, we're going to create the pumpkin. We'll create the stem. We'll make the face. And then, we'll make it super. All right, let's get carving. Here's what you'll need. Orange modeling clay or Play-Doh, green modeling clay or Play-Doh, some black modeling clay or Play-Doh, a pencil, and paper. Pause now if you need more time to get your materials. Alrighty, let's get sculpting. First step, we'll make the pumpkin. First, place your paper down on the table. We will use this to make sure our clay doesn't stick to the table. Grab a big chunk of orange clay or Play-Doh and roll it into a smooth ball. Using the eraser end of your pencil, make an indent at the top. This will be where we put the stem. Then, use your pencil or other flat edge, like a ruler, to make evenly spaced line indents from the top to the bottom, like this. Funnily enough, the original jack-o'-lanterns were actually carved out of turnips, and they were super creepy looking. Uh, let's not put those up in the library, shall we? <coughs> Press pause if you need more time. The pumpkin is complete, so we'll make the stem. Grab your green clay or Play-Doh and roll it into a tube-like shape that'll fit in the pumpkin's top indent. You can make it more stem-shaped by pressing and squeezing the bottom into the paper on your table, like this. When you have a stem you're happy with, Squish it into the indent. If you'd like, bend the tube a bit for a curlier stem. Nice. <coughs> Press pause if you need more time. Let's take our creation from pumpkin to jack-o'-lantern by creating a face. We can use black clay or Play-Doh. I'll be making triangle eyes by grabbing a tiny bit of clay, rolling it into a ball, flattening it, then pinching it like this. But feel free to get creative and make any eye shape you like.
For the mouth, I'm going to take a piece of black Play-Doh and roll it out super thin. Then, make a cool jagged line, like this. If you want though, you can combine different black Play-Doh or clay shapes together to make it more elaborate. Feel free to experiment and have fun. According to Irish folklore, a man named Jack O'Lantern was sentenced to roam the earth for eternity. So people started making their own lanterns to set outside of their homes to ward off his spirit. Press pause if you need more time. It's finally time to make our jack-o'-lanterns super! For example, we could add some squiggly hair to our pumpkin. Take a piece of green Play-Doh and roll it out extra thin. You can shape it however you like. Maybe add some curly cues. Then, put one end at the bottom of your pumpkin stem. Make as many hair strands as you want. They can be different lengths or even different colors. You could also add some long, spooky witch legs. What else could you add to your jack-o'-lantern? Maybe surround it with grass or candy. Maybe you want to add a handle to make it look like a trick-or-treat bucket. Now's the time to get as imaginative as possible.
Press pause if you need more time. Wow, these are going to make perfect decorations at the library. None of the flame, all of the fun. When you're done sculpting yours, take a picture and send it to hello at supernow.com. Stay spooky, and I'll see you next time.